Listen up. We've not even talked about degrees yet. Before top dead center. This backing plate right here that I have in hand, I have affixed a degree wheel to the outer edge. I wanted to show you something. This is a 1937 Maytag uh, Merkin Bosch backing plate. You know what we're working on. But I found a center line, top dead center, and the factory put this, they put that little, little block on there when they made it, they casted it there. And then they, they put this line across through here. That's the timing mark on a 1937. I believe I'm correct in that. But I fixed the degree wheel, the right proportions, the outside diameter, to get the degrees. And if you if you'll just look right there, uh, that's 10 degrees, each one of the big ones. That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Also, they have the pins to position the points. It was a fixed. You had no choice with this 1937. And it wasn't a good idea. I, I have touched on that before. On this backing plate here, you could only use one type point set. And it's the one that's got the two holes in it that would fit in those pins. And that, that just, that you put that on them pins right there, Right here and right here, you put that set of points on them pins, and you have no choice. You can't make no, no, you cannot make any adjustments. It's a bad thing. It worked good for what these engines was built for. It was perfect. Oh, well, actually, it wasn't. It wasn't perfect, but it worked all those years. It worked okay. The, the point, the, what I'm showing you this lesson is remember the timing because that's not correct. And the points, it, they uh, have the pins and you still put the screws in there. And the other choice would have been the backing plate that don't have the holes drilled. You can't put them on there. It just won't fit. Then the, the one before that is this type. You will encounter more of this type fixed point blade, point bracket. And it won't fit on there either because when you try to get it on there, the pins are in the way. It won't fit. You can use this backing plate because there's a couple of things on here which is the same on all of them. One of them being the center line and one of them being the position of these two drilled holes right here. That is exactly the same no matter what shape the bosses are, the little toadstool things there to mount them on. No matter what shape that is, that hole will be in exactly the same position. And on these points right here, the, the hole down here right here is in the exact position too. These two holes here are in exact position. You, you need to remember that you should have ob already observed that. In order to see it better, we might look at this backing plate. And this oval shape here and this oval shape here, that's identical on all the points. Another position which is the same and does not vary any at all is this fixed pin right here. That is the same on all of the points. You only have to be careful that that does not that your governor arm don't hit that. Just be careful. But keep that in mind that these two holes and the two holes drilled in the other set and the center pin and the position of the points. This basically they are identical except the shape here. The timing tools that's available on this type points wouldn't work. It works on this type. And I'm going to show you we are going to use two uh, most common point adjusting tools that's out there right now. We, I, we're, are we going to do that? We're going to take the time to do this. Even on this this backing plate here, this example, it's, it's, the, it's the skinny stools here, the round ones that don't have the pins, and it's the backing plate that it is not drilled, but it's the odd-shaped one. I would think this would be a factory installation right here. A good example to go by. And I, and I may keep this as is just to use as an example. 
But I, I would probably the downfall of this system right here was that the, the covering got off of that wire. And I think it grounded out right there. I would say that was the only thing wrong with this ignition system. That This war does have to be covered isolated electrically. The ground war comes out on that side over there and comes around and underneath that head on that bolt right there. It's It just makes a loop, a circuit. It's a simple high tension coil. And we are going to do the ohms on it. We will get through that. We are even going to take an extra episode to redo how to do the beach test on the coil and the condenser. We're going to do that. I was aiming to go ahead and uh, adjust these points, but I think we, we would be amiss if we did not explore. Even the condenser, that needs to be explored. I'm talking about quickly, but we will explore condenser. Had just fun here in the backyard shop, shop dog Sam. When this roller comes around, Y'all see that roller? I'm trying. It's in alignment right there, and you see the way that roller comes around there and hits that lever bar. Uh, that's the way that's supposed to work.